Okay, so let's look at uh, lighting. So, so far we have done uh, the hall. Now let's look at uh, the lighting, placing these lights. So the problem I ran into when I, ex I was experimenting with this is that uh, uh, there's no, there is no easy way to have uh, these lights kind of follow the spiral uh, like we have uh, for other objects. As you see that uh, all the objects we have, for example, take an example of these uh, picture frames, I see we first duplicate them with an array and then add a curve deformer modifier, a curve modifier uh, to deform them around the spiral. Uh, the problem with the lights is that uh, if you add a light, if you or if you select a light, you will notice that uh, lights don't have modifiers. So we can't add an array modifiers, uh, an array modifier to duplicate the lights, and uh, we can't add a curve modifier uh, to deform uh, the lights around uh, the uh, the spiral. So what I came up with, uh, the solution I was came up, I came up with was to first add something like a cube here. Then if you parent the light to the cube, control P, and uh, go to uh, display properties, object properties, I, if you turn on instancing uh, for what says, you'll see that uh, uh, the light will be duplicated on every edge of uh, the uh, the object. Uh, any object that is parented uh, to, the, to the object will be duplicated at that uh, at every vertex. And uh, if you want faces, you will get faces duplicated at, at the position of every face. And uh, since our light is parented to this, uh, it's being duplicated at those positions or points. Now, if we add an array to our cube, you can see the same lights are also, uh, we are also duplicating the lights for every instance of array we are adding. Now, if we add a curve deformer, right, you see that uh, the lights will also kind of follow the same uh, deformation. I'm not, yes, uh, de I would just call it deformation. So now we just need to position these, uh, these lights, uh, these cubes here, uh, in the same position as our car. So select the curve, cursor to selected, and then select the, the cubes, selection to cursor. You just need to scale them down. Maybe you can do this in edit mode that we don't affect uh, the scale data for the object. Now you can see that uh, they are in the same position as, but except uh, that uh, our light is not really, our lights are not in, the, in that position. So what we're going to do is uh, just select the main uh, light and also snap it to uh, the same position and you can see we have our lights. But uh, we don't want four lights for every cube. We just want uh, one light. And uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, since it's a light per vertex, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, or a light per face, depending on the, on what you choose here. So let me change this to, vert, to face. You can see light per face. I'm just going to delete the extra faces so that we only have one light. Now, if I go in here, where am I? You can see that uh, we have a light per face. Now we can move this light into position and uh, push this like so. And uh, the cool thing about this is that uh, if I change this light into, let me find the light. Actually, let me first move my camera towards that. Okay, so if I changed uh, the light, let me select the light, this light, into a uh, spotlight. I can select these uh, these planes and rotate them in any angle because you can see that uh, our spotlights are point are, are kind of lighting towards the, the wall, so we need that to be uh, the same for these lights. So I'll just rotate uh, this under the 
are you, if you rotate the, the planes, uh, they will also take up the rotation of the plane. Now I just need to play. Let's go back to let's go to rendered mode and see how that is coming up. And again, we can di distribute these lights using our array modifier. So I'll just increase the array distance. So we need a few lights so I can increase the... Ha! Huh, look at that. Blender crash. But uh, anyway, I hope you're getting the point there. Let me see if I can recover that project. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't saving, but uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to do that and uh, maybe come back in the next part. Thanks for watching.